Naomi the G Tarot. I'm trying to get this introduction right. And um, today we are doing our tarot read on the Capricorns. Today is your day. I just love you Capricorns. It's something about your business savviness that's so attractive to me. Like how y'all know how to put things together and develop and organize stuff as far as business goes. Y'all are just very sound in your thinking when it comes to making money, tangible money over time. That's what we can appreciate about you Capricorns is y'all always step up to the plate in any aspect of business and work-related issues. So before we get into today's reading, Make sure that you're hitting the subscribe button. Please comment, like, and share. And let me know if any of these pick a card, actually not pick a card, but any of these readings resonate with you. Lord. <laughs> when I say I don't read reversals and they come out anyway, I'd be like, okay, cool. So y'all need to hear this. Um, Thank you for your time. If this message resonates with you please let me know in the comments below but if not i completely understand as well um because if it doesn't apply let it fly right i do see that there's a conscious uncoupling i did a pre-shuffle for you um right before we got into this reading and the energy was very, it was given um, as if you were trying to work towards something. And right now, it seems like it's taking forever or it hasn't matured yet. Maybe you're in a relationship with somebody that is immature. Maybe um, in a sense of like the way they talk to you is kind of like off. Um, but I do see that you'll be able to move on from this situation. It's probably a little bit more so on the side of heartbreak you know what i mean where like it's not heartbreaking maybe you feel like this is uh this opportunity to be with this person is starting to come to an end um like a conscious uncoupling like y'all coming together and y'all are telling each other hey i don't think this is going to work out me neither you know maybe we could pick back up on this later and this does not have to be a romantic thing because one thing about capricorns is it's always money over everything else okay so it could be just like parting ways from a job I do see new things on the horizon actually working out for you. And um, right now, um, if there is a, an ending to something, something else is coming on the horizon and you're not going to be have time to be stuck in your emotions about the thing that just ended. I feel like what is coming on the horizon is like you moving on to something better and it's going to keep you busy. Like when I say busy, no time for rest. You won't be resting right now. You'll definitely be like, it's every hour of the day you got something planned to do. Um, and it's something that you're working towards that's going to benefit you and your family or you and your community um, or a social network or however that works for you or however that applies. But I definitely see you leaving a situation for sure um, and going to something better. So keep that in mind. Um, I also see that... Um, you could be around a lot of, or it could be you who is a boss-like energy um, that's coming in to probably come in to kind of like encourage you and tell you like, keep going, keep going strong. Um, it's, it's a lot of things that you've probably been manifesting is coming to fruition right now. And that's why I always say, y'all, like, be careful what you ask for because in just the moment that you're at least thinking about it, you'll get it. You'll get the very thing that you, so if you're looking for a new job, be prepared for all the extra work you're going to be putting in for this thing. If you are looking for a new relationship, it's going to be some work. It's going to be some changes, more so on your end, like maybe changing your mindset and making sure that you're ready and prepared for this thing. Because whatever is coming, is coming, and it's coming in like a wrecking ball. Shout out to Miley Cyrus. All right, so let me see if I could pull out anything extra with this. Um, I just feel like a, a lot of quickened energy, especially with your with your mind and your thoughts. So also, that is another thing I did see in your um, pre-shuffle, is very, be very careful of the way you're speaking to yourself right now because you're manifesting things of your thoughts, um, things that you put out there. Or this was gonna, I can't wait for this to work for me. Um, so don't look at this blessing that's coming in as a hindrance. 
Because at first it's going to seem like it's too much. But you Capricorn are the strongest of the Zodiac. Y'all know how to handle difficult situations. And that's another reason why we love you. Um, it's nothing wrong with being strong. That's your power. Okay, sit in that. And I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for sharing me. Thank you for your support. I appreciate it. I really, really do. I, I cannot tell you enough how much this means to me. It's the most soul-fulfilling thing I've ever done in my life. And I feel like I'm on fire right now. And if you need me, I'll leave a... Um, a link to my email so you can email me ask me anything and i will definitely uh help you with that so we're gonna head and go ahead and part ways here as always thank you for putting the message out there that spirituality is just that it's spiritual and it's not all about um all the woo woo stuff of like you know raising the dead and worshiping demons and things like that if you're into that that's cool too but that's not what it's all about. So I'm here to just show you that spirituality can just really help amp up your life. Okay, like get your soul on fire um, for the next thing, which is the mission that you are here to do. So if you can resonate with that, thank you. Subscribe and I'll see you soon. Mwah! Let's see.